Sleep here. Hmm. You. No, I didn't do it. Take a good look, Elliot. What do you see, Elliot? Something's missing, Elliot. What, what, what is it, Elliot? What is it? Wait, don't tell me. I... Hello, everyone. Today, our adventure takes us into the wild to learn about a powerful and majestic creature that roams forests, mountains, and tundras. Can anyone guess what animal we're about to discover? That's correct. Now we are going to die into the fascinating world of bears. Tell with me, guys. B E A R. Bear. Good job, everyone. Bears are known for their strength, intelligence, and diverse habitats. Who can start us off with an interesting fact about these incredible animals? Exactly right. Bears have an extraordinary sense of smell, which is far superior to that of dogs. They can detect scents from miles away, which helps them locate food, find mates, and stay aware of potential threats in their environment. This keen sense of smell is essential for their survival. Can anyone tell me what bears typically eat? That's correct. Bears are omnivores, which means they eat a variety of foods, including plants, fruits, insects, and other animals. This dietary flexibility allows them to adapt to different environments and seasons. All right, who knows where different species of bears can be found? Absolutely. Bears are distributed across many parts of the world, with different species living in North America, South America, Europe, and Asia. Each species has adapted to its unique environment. For example, polar bears are perfectly suited for Arctic ice, while spectacled bears thrive in the forests of South America. What can you tell me about how bears survive the winter? Exactly. Many bears enter a state of hibernation during the winter to conserve energy when food is scarce. They slow down their metabolism and live off their fat reserves, which they build up during the warmer months. This period of dormancy allows them to survive harsh winter conditions without needing to forage for food. Does anyone know how bears take care of their young? That's right. Mother bears are incredibly protective and nurturing. They teach their cubs essential survival skills, such as finding food and recognizing danger. Cubs usually stay with their mothers for about two years, during which they learn everything they need to know to survive on their own. Can someone share another unique characteristic of bears? Exactly. Bears have the ability to stand and walk on their hind legs. This behavior helps them get a better view of their surroundings and reach higher food sources. Standing upright also makes them appear more intimidating to potential threats. This ability is just one of the many fascinating adaptations bears have developed. All right, that's it about bears for now. Let's take a moment to appreciate these magnificent creatures and continue our journey into the captivating world of animals. All right, everyone. Shall we head back to the film for another round of excitement? All right, let's go. Temple line is missing. Oh, I was just going to say that. My garage is missing. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are missing. My life is missing. It is all your fault. What are you going to do? Ah! <laughs> You're funny. I thought maybe, but then I was like, uh uh. And then. Wow. 
Save Rico, Chica. Save Rico. There's so many. Oh, oh. Lock and load. Welcome, nature lovers. Let's journey into the diverse world of the animal kingdom and unravel the mysteries of a creature renowned for its prickly exterior and intriguing habits. Can you guess which fascinating creature we're about to spotlight next? That's correct. Our spotlight now shines on the captivating porcupine. Okay, now let's spell it out together. P-O-R-C-U-P-I-N-E Porcupine Fantastic job, everyone. Porcupines are renowned for their quills and intriguing behaviors. But did you know that porcupines possess some truly extraordinary traits? Do you know any of them? Indeed. Porcupines are equipped with specialized quills for defense, which they can raise when feeling threatened. These quills, though sharp, are actually modified hairs made of keratin, the same substance found in our hair and fingernails. When a porcupine feels threatened, it can erect its quills, making it a formidable opponent against potential predators. However, contrary to popular belief, porcupines cannot shoot their quills. Instead, they rely on physical contact to deter threats. Can someone share another intriguing fact? Precisely. Porcupines are herbivores, with a diet consisting mainly of plants, bark, and leaves. Their strong, chisel-like incisors are well-suited for gnawing through tough vegetation. Interestingly, Porcupines have been known to gnaw on bones and antlers as well, not for sustenance, but rather to obtain essential minerals like calcium and sodium. This diverse diet allows them to thrive in various habitats, from lush forest to arid grasslands. Now, who among you can enlighten us about the native habitats of porcupines? Exactly right. Porcupines are adaptable creatures found in diverse environments ranging from dense forests and grassy plains to arid deserts, and they inhabit several continents across the globe. Despite their spiky appearance, porcupines have managed to carve out a niche in different ecosystems, demonstrating their remarkable adaptability. Now who can tell us about the social behavior of porcupines? You're absolutely correct. While porcupines are typically solitary creatures, they may interact during mating season or when establishing territory boundaries. However, it's essential to note that porcupines are not entirely antisocial. They do communicate with each other through various vocalizations and scent marking, particularly during the breeding season. Despite their solitary nature, these interactions play a crucial role in their reproductive success and social dynamics. Can someone present another captivating fact about porcupines? Well done. Porcupines showcase impressive climbing abilities, using their sharp claws and strong limbs to navigate trees and rocky landscapes with ease. Their adept climbing skills not only help them escape predators, but also provide access to food sources like tender leaves and buds found high in the canopy. Whether scaling a tree or traversing rocky terrain, Porcupines are undoubtedly masters of their arboreal and terrestrial domains. Okay, with the next video, let's again deepen our understanding of the forest ecosystem and appreciate the crucial role that animals play in maintaining its balance. All right, everyone, it's time to return and continue enjoying the captivating movie we were watching. One dog, two dog. Oh. Get it. Come on, Rico. Rico got your back, baby. Get that Fire! Ah. Oh, saved by the slobber. Get him off me. Get him off me. Get him Oh, no. That's Elliot. That ain't good. Let's go. Ah. 
Elliot? Oh, no. Rico, where is he? Oh, man. He's got to get those collars off. Stop! Uh-oh. Everyone gets it! Do you understand? Oh, Elliot, you okay? Yes. Yes. Uh, but you could have gotten here sooner. Come on, you're breathing, aren't you? Let this be an example to you! All right, everyone. That's a wrap for now. Let's catch up in our next video to explore more fascinating animals. Take care, guys. And remember, keep that curiosity alive and never stop learning.